This is Cinebench 2000, a very early and obscure version of what is probably the world's most famous CPU benchmark. And what is so special here is that for years it seemed this version of Cinebench would be lost forever, like many other software from over two decades ago. But we have it here and not only that, but we're running it on Alder Lake. So let's get started. Even if you only vaguely know of PC hardware benchmarking, chances are you will have heard of Cinebench. And its core is based on Cinema 4D, a 3D software suite by the German company Maxon, which has been used in many blockbuster movies over the years. And both Intel and AMD have used it publicly to show the single and multi-threaded performance of their chips. And over the years there have been many, many versions of Cinebench, personally the R11.5 and the R15 version are one of my favorites. But there were versions earlier than those, before Cinebench became as popular as it is today. Specifically Cinebench 2000, and as the name would suggest, it's 22 years old. And while there has been a video of it showing it in action, the installation files just haven't been publicly available. Until now, as the author of that video, Black Squirrel 7 uploaded the files to the Internet Archive, and you can find a link in the description to download them yourself. And thanks to Windows' awesome backwards compatibility, we can run this software originally meant for Windows 98 on Windows 10 just fine, so we can compare the score of a Pentium 166 from 1996 to that of a i5 12600K from 2021. Just like with other Cinebench versions up to R11.5, 2000 has both CPU and GPU tests. The first one tests how fast the GPU is using Cinema 4D's built-in drawing engine, and the second one renders using OpenGL. On a slightly different note, I really like the comprehensive manual they've made for this version, explaining all the tests in detail and how they're calculated. And you don't get that with the latest versions of Cinebench anymore, it just shows the care and attention that went into this older version. In any case, with my GTX 1080 it's just ridiculously fast but hopefully you can get a slightly better view of running it on my older Dell Precision. As for the CPU tests, like you still find with the latest version today, you have single and multi-thread performance, when rendering is seen with ray tracing, and running this on my Alder Lake i5 12600K, it's just lightningly quick. You can blink and it's done. As 2000 was made for the kind of architectures and amount of processing power, which was commonly available back then, for single thread, we do see it reaches full utilization on one core. And as for the score, in the case of the 12600K, we have 142 points, making it 141 times faster than a Pentium 166 from 1996, which is pretty crazy to think about. Interestingly, in multi-core, we can see it is able to reach all 16 threads on the Alder Lake chip, but the total utilization is minimum, as the Total load is simply not enough to saturate all threads. And as a result, we do see some rather poor scaling at only 3x, as the Alder Lake chip is just too fast for the amount of work that needs to be done. But what's the score of your hardware? Please do run Cinebench on your own system and post the results in the comments below. Well, that was all for now, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have a like, would be very much appreciated, and if you want to be kept up to date on future projects, why not consider subscribing to the Fully Buffered channel? Well, that was all for now, and bye bye.